Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the brand new yet to be released Nike Magista Obra. Now inside the box, as you get with all the top end models from Nike, a string bag is included. This particular string bag is volt yellow in color. The strings are black. On one side, you're going to find the Nike football logo. And on the other side, you're going to find a Nike swoosh. So we'll get that out of the way. Other than that, inside the box, all you get are the shoes themselves, as you can see. So we'll get these out of the box really quickly. And if you guys could take a second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the long-awaited Nike Magista Obra. You guys have been begging me to bring these in, and I apologize for it taking so long. But unfortunately, me being located in Canada has been a big issue um, as far as getting these prior to the release date. But I have them now. Uh, they officially release on May 22nd, and you can currently pre-order them. The retail price is $275, but if you check out the review page on my website, linked down below in the description, there will be pre-order links along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes that allow you to pick these up on pre-order for $220 right around that price point significantly less than the retail price so again if you're interested in a pair of these that is the place to pre-order them if you want to get them below the retail price anyways other than that though guys we're going to get into this unboxing very quickly but before we do that i want you guys to leave your questions about the nike magista down below in the comments i'm going to try to answer as many questions as possible in today's video and it will be a little bit on the longer side but there are going to be questions that will remain unanswered and i want to make kind of a frequently asked question video series for the magista because it is a very new design with very new materials that I'm sure lots of you guys are curious about. So any Nike Magista questions that you may have, leave them down below in the comments. I'll get to making that video series as soon as possible. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. First things first, let's talk about the colorway. Now this is not only the launch color for the top end Magista Obra, but also for the entire Magista line. Those of you that remember back to when this shoe was first unveiled, Nike showed off two black based colorways that I was under the impression were going to launch with the main Volt color that I have in my hands today. That obviously has not been the case and I really don't have any information on future colorways or when or if those black base colors we saw at launch are ever going to release. So as of right now, unless you go the Nike ID route, this is your only colorway option available. As far as this color is concerned, it is a Volt yellow base, which is essentially a highlighter yellow. You're gonna find that throughout the entire upper, and it definitely does make this shoe stand out if it didn't already with its mid-cut design. As far as this hyper punch color is concerned, you're gonna find it on the lateral side of the shoe, a little bit here in the forefoot as it kind of transitions from hyper punch to black, in the fly knit material and then one more hyper punch logo right here um, on the instep it's actually a nike swoosh i should say outlined in black and essentially the best way to describe hyper punch in person is bright pink so you have bright pink and volt yellow so this shoe is definitely going to stand out if that's what you're looking for like i mentioned you have that black in the pattern here on the medial side of the fly knit which to me looks really cool if they did all black and volt i thought that would have been really neat but Obviously that was not the case. They wanted to include this hyper punch color, which to me, I'm not a huge fan of really brightly colored shoes, but honestly, these look pretty cool in person. It's definitely a very unique design and certainly will stand out. As far as the Nike swoosh here on the lateral side, the main Nike swoosh, it's metallic gold on the inside. It has this kind of pattern there and it's actually a shiny, sparkly metallic gold. It has a real metal flake look about it. And again, it accents surprisingly well with the Volt and the Hyper Punch on the rest of the shoe. You have one little black kind of line here going along the top of the Dynamic Fit Collar. Your Magista branding right there going along the back of the Dynamic Fit Collar. And then the sole plate is a combination of Volt black with subtle touches of Hyper Punch as well. So that's pretty much it as far as the colorway is concerned. And move on next to the upper itself. The Magista Obra is the first fly knit soccer cleat to launch from Nike. Obviously, it will be followed by the Superfly 4 in the coming months. But as far as the quality is concerned, I have to say that I am pleasantly surprised. I was very optimistic of fly knit in soccer cleats. And I have to say that Nike did a really good job as far as implementing something that really does feel performance oriented and not necessarily gimmicky with the Magista Obra. It's a very unique construction and one thing that I thought was a little bit reassuring for me at least, especially considering the $275 price tag, is that the Magista Obra is actually made in Italy, um, which to me is a nice touch. It's always nice to see something made in a European country as opposed to being made in China or made, being made in Vietnam, which again, isn't necessarily a bad thing, but being made in Italy to me exudes a higher quality product, at least to me personally. Um, as far as what the flying it upper is all about it's flying it it's nothing too over the top it's nothing that we haven't seen before from nike it's just the first time that we're seeing it on a nike soccer cleat so as far as what it's all about flying it is essentially 
uh, a woven synthetic. It's made from this very high quality yarn-like material, sock-like material, if you will, that's woven very tightly and it's woven by machine. Uh, a person couldn't actually make a fly knit upper. It's woven with extreme precision and as you can see, it's very, very detailed and it's actually pretty unbelievable that they're able to make a pattern this precise and this perfect um, into a soccer cleat upper and it really does feel great on feet. It offers a sock-like level of comfort and a one-to-one -one type of foot to shoe experience if that makes any sense. So what's unique about the fly knit upper that we've really never seen before from any other soccer cleat is that it makes for a one piece enclosure. So yes there are laces on the shoe and yes they will help to make the shoe fit more snug on your foot but for the most part there's no tongue. It's a sock like enclosure including this dynamic fit collar so it fits very snug even without the laces tied up which is kind of unique on its own. Um, I guess a lot of zero gravity would be a laceless shoe. This would be similar to that concept but with a much higher quality fit simply because the fly knit upper has the ability to stretch, form and bend to the exact shape of your foot simply because it's very very pliable. Now. Uh, there's a lot of confusion around how Flyknit is going to react in terms of overall durability. And one thing that I'll say right off the bat is I'm not worried about the durability of Flyknit whatsoever. I would even go as far as to say that I have more confidence in a Flyknit upper when it comes to durability than something like Nike Skin found on the Hypervenom Phantom or even Tasian Synthetic found on the Mercurial Vapor 9. This is much more rugged, much more solidly built, much more tightly woven and it is very very difficult to break this stuff. It's rock solid and again if you were worried about cleats ripping into the upper of the shoe, don't be. That's not going to be an issue whatsoever. Now as far as what this upper is all about, obviously it features a fly knit top layer, that's what gives it this visual effect. But there are also other familiar Nike elements included in the upper of the shoe, one being a Nike skin top layer. So this is not exposed fly knit. There's actually a very thin kind of x-ray texturing waxy finish uh, top layer that's completely clear. Again, pretty much exactly like what you're going to find on the Hyper Venom Phantom. You can see that there's a little bit of a transition line right there. So this main part on the upper has that top layer, that polyurethane membrane layer on top, whereas the laces as well as the dynamic fit collar are completely exposed. So that is flying it without any kind of restrictiveness to it. So because of this top layer, it really restricts a lot of the flexibility of the shoe. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's going to lead to better lateral support. And it's there also for touch as well as durability. You can see you have an extra reinforcement layer here going around the base of the sole plate and again that's there to increase the overall durability and structural integrity of the shoe. As far as the fly knit pattern is concerned it is somewhat unusual I definitely will say that and it's also much more heavily textured than I was honestly expecting. It's kind of difficult for me to show you guys on camera but when you run your finger across it it's very very uh, kind of there's heavy ridges you can feel every single bump in the fly knit with this little pattern they have going on there. I'm not sure how that's going to impact the overall touch on the ball and it's not necessarily like the Hyper Venom Phantom where you have a very soft dimpling that when you make contact it all kind of smushes flat. This is something that is a shape that this upper will maintain, a texture that this upper will maintain no matter how hard of a contact you make with the ball. So again very very interesting in that regard. Of course along with that polyurethane top layer, the Nike skin top layer, it also features ACC all conditions control which is something we've come to expect from Nike shoes. It is your um, essentially your wet control element on the boot and in terms of performing in wet weather I think these are going to perform equally as well as the Hyper Venom Phantom considering it does have that same top coat layer slash covering. Um, as far as other elements of the upper that you can't necessarily see there are kind of a, what they call Brio cables. It's essentially a variation of fly knit that run through the upper on both the lateral and medial sides that connect to the lace holes. You can see the lacing system is kind of unique in that the laces goes in here and then kind of goes through that cable. There's actually a cable running right through here, running through the fly knit pattern. It's strung through right there and then when you pull the cable it's going to pull on those fly knit cables or the Brio cables, sorry, that are woven into the fly knit upper and that's when it's, it's going to create that lateral stability or aid with the lateral stability when you are making these hard cuts in the shoe. It's also going to lock your foot in place 
inside the boot and it actually feels really really good um, which I'll talk about more a little bit later in the on feet portion of the video. So you have these Brio cables running through every single lace area of the shoe that's also what's going to help with giving it this very heavy texturing that again just feels very very unique and as far as other elements that kind of surprised me when I actually got the shoe in person there is actually a heel liner here it's kind of difficult for me to show you guys because of this dynamic foot collar hopefully you guys can see it a little bit it's essentially made out of this material that the Magisto logo is printed on it's a very smooth synthetic material and it's there just to give you that little bit of extra padding so your heel's not rubbing directly against um, this plastic heel counter. And actually it is surprisingly comfortable and does a good job of keeping your heel locked in place, especially with the addition of this mid-cut dynamic fit collar, which we're going to talk about more in just a second. One other thing that I was not expecting is that there's actually a backing material to the Flyknit Synthetic. So it isn't as thin as you might expect. And this is something that I just can't show you because of the camera maybe inside a little bit. You can see that there's like a black material in there. I'm not sure if it looks black or if it just looks dark to you guys, um, but there's actually a black lining material with a very, very thin layer of soft spongy foam, and it makes for a very comfortable fit. It's really, really nice against your socks, and it actually provides a slight amount of cushion to what would otherwise be a pretty firm fly knit upper. So again, the touch on this shoe is not necessarily simply determined by the fly knit itself. Think of the fly knit material as the base for the shoe. It's going to impact the touch in certain ways, but it's mainly there to provide a sock-like enclosure, a sock-like level of comfort, as well as really good lateral support. They've woven this in such a way that it moves very flexible, it's very free as far as moving naturally with your foot but it also provides tons and tons of lateral stability and like i said there's no flex on this area of the shoe that is covered by the nike skin but there's plenty of elasticated flexibility in this laces area as well as in the dynamic fit collar so in terms of being restrictive because of that dynamic foot collar that is not the case at all and it really does provide a sock like fit and a sock like level of comfort with a touch that is going to be similar to nike skin but at the same time very different Along with the unique flyknit construction of the Magista Obra, another major talking point of this shoe is the mid-cut design. And you can see side by side with a standard low-cut soccer cleat, there definitely is a pretty significant difference, especially when it comes to overall visuals. But when it comes to how this shoe actually feels, I would say that there is less restrictiveness in the Magista Obra with its mid-cut design than something like this that features a lot more plastic and much more rigid materials overall. So again, this is not a shoe that's going to go halfway up your leg. It essentially covers three quarters of your ankle and that's about it. And essentially it's just made from a very thin, pliable, elasticated fly knit material that feels very high quality. It's honestly a lot thicker than I was expecting and in terms of durability, I can stretch it pretty much to the max and there's real no uh, sense of me breaking the shoe. I feel like I can pull on it as hard as I want and nothing's going to come apart. Nothing's going to overstretch. It just bounces right back to its original shape. No harm, no foul. And like I said, everything feels surprisingly solid, even though this is essentially a first as far as design is concerned. Um, but like I said, Nike has experience with Flyknit technology. They've been, um, it's been in constant evolution since it first was released to the public in 2012. And like I said, everything just feels surprisingly solid with this mid-cut collar design. Again, there's no plastic or restrictiveness here whatsoever. Just some plastic in the heel counter that's there provides some minor protection as well as that lateral stability, which is of course required with any soccer shoe. Um, and then as far as any stitching is concerned, this is really where a whole shoe is stitched together right here at the back then they have a fused piece of material right here with your Magista branding you're really not going to find any other stitching across the entire upper it's essentially one piece a sock like enclosure and that's what this um, dynamic fit collar system is all about trying to provide that one-to-one -one experience between your foot and the shoe that's why it runs a little bit over your ankle and in terms of providing that false sense of security that false sense of stability I honestly didn't get that sensation with um, the Magista Obra and this mid-cut collar design. Yes, you can feel it on your ankle, not so much when you have socks underneath it, which again, I'll talk about later in the on-feet portion of the video. But for the most part, you're not gonna put these shoes on and feel weird and feel like there's an adjustment period. You're gonna put them on and play soccer just like you would in any other shoe. It doesn't have that weird sensation, especially at first. As far as little details that I thought were different online than they are in person, you can see there are some perforations right here, but they're not actually perforations. It's just a little cutout, a little design design in the upper and it's actually black flying it underlay so it's not see-through it's not ultra thin and like I said this collar system is surprisingly thick and surprisingly durable feeling overall um, that's pretty much it as far as dynamic, the, the dynamic fit collar is concerned I don't want to say too much about it until I've actually used them but for the most part and just from trying them on 
Honestly, nothing jumps out at me as a potential concern in terms of performance, durability, and to me, it actually feels pretty cool. Doesn't look the coolest, but again, that's more of an opinion as opposed to something that is fact when it comes to overall performance. To go along with the brand new design for the upper, Nike has also implemented a brand new sole plate and stud pattern for the Magista Obra. Now you can see the sole plate is one piece along with an external heel counter that is a very similar shape to the heel counters found on the Mercurial Vapor 4 SLs. Those were carbon fiber for those of you guys that remember. But again, the shape is very similar, rounded off, and it actually feels pretty good. It isn't as stiff as I was perhaps expecting, but in terms of cupping your heel and providing good lateral stability as well as some minor protection, it definitely does seem to do the job. As far as the sole plate is concerned, it's made from a combination of glass nylon and PBAX material. Now they don't necessarily specify which part is which, but just based on how it feels and how it flexes, it is surprisingly stiff. I would guess that the yellow areas of the shoe are made from glass nylon, whereas the black underlay materials where the studs are, are made from PBAX. And that's uh, to me how this feels. And it's actually very, very uh, responsive feeling, but at the same time, doesn't lack any kind of flexibility, which is something that I'm actually very excited about. It looks very similar to the Nike Tiempo Legend 5 stud pattern, but the sole plate itself is not made from TPU plastic. Like I said, it's glass nylon, so it's gonna have a much stiffer, more responsive feel in comparison. As far as the stud pattern is concerned, you can see in the forefoot, you have your eight conical studs on both the lateral and medial sides of the shoe, one mercurial stud right at the tip, and then two bladed support studs in the middle. Again, not too far off from what we get from the Mercur uh, the Tiempo Legend 5, sorry. And again, I would expect it to perform very, very similarly. And then under the heel, again, you have four more conical studs. They're all fairly narrow in terms of their profile, so I would expect them to penetrate the ground pretty easily. And what's also great about the Magista Obra is that right off the bat, at launch, you can buy the Firm Ground, the AG, or the Soft Ground Pro variation. So no matter which playing surface you're playing on, you're going to have the appropriate stud pattern available to you. One design aspect of the Magista Obra that really hasn't been talked about all that much is the weight of the shoe. And to my surprise, they're actually much lighter than I honestly was expecting. One aspect of the shoe I also forgot to mention earlier in the video is that the insole is fully removable and it does in fact have an insole. It's got a mesh liner on top, Hyper Punch pink in color, your Magista branding there at the heel, um, and then it's perforated all throughout and it's made from the same yellow foam material we found on the Maestri 3 insole. So nothing too fancy, but it definitely does get the job done. So I'm gonna weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind, this is a brand new pair in a size nine US, and you can see the insole is on the inside this one. So I'm not cheating in any way at all. We'll throw it on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 7.2 ounces. So pretty much exactly the same as a pair of Nike Hypervenom Phantoms, a low cut shoe. And honestly, because of this mid cut design, I was expecting them to weigh at least around eight ounces, but obviously Nike has managed to keep the shoe a lot lighter than that. Flying it is obviously a very lightweight material, and with this glass nylon and P-Bax outsole, that feels very solid, but at the same time lightweight. Nike has managed to keep the weight of this shoe down well below what I honestly was expecting, and if weight was a concern, I really wouldn't concern myself too much with the Magista Obra, because they're light enough for pretty much anybody. Um, so again, that's pretty much it as far as the weight portion of this video is concerned. And move on next to a kick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and of course what the sizing is like. Here's just a quick look of how the Nike Magistas look with a pair of socks. Obviously these are going to be worn in game with full length socks and I have some white socks on right now and honestly it doesn't look too bad in my opinion. But if you're wearing blue socks or red socks or some off color that just isn't going to match the volt yellow and pink of the Nike Magista which is going to be most kits. I can see it looking a little bit strange and I'm actually very curious to see the players start to wear these things in the World Cup. But for the most part, honestly, I don't think it looks too bad. It does look a little bit strange, I will admit it, but it certainly isn't ugly in my opinion. Leave your opinions down below in the comments. Alright, here's a look at the Nike Magistas on feet. And honestly, from right out of the box, they are extremely comfortable. They really do have that sock-like feel in terms of overall comfort. But with that being said, I wouldn't say that it's too far off in terms of comfort and feel to that of the Nike Hyper Venom Phantom. And that's really what I would compare the shoe to in terms of overall fit as well as sizing. In terms of fit, I would say that it has... Uh, an average width in the midfoot, an average width in the forefoot, and it's a little bit tighter in the in the toe box area. It does share the same X1.1 last with the Hyper Venom Phantom as well as the Nike Tiempo Legend 5s. So if you fit into those shoes, you're going to fit into the Magista Obra. 
but the fly knit upper, the one piece upper, along with this dynamic fit collar system, definitely does have its own unique feel about it. It's very soft, it's very flexible. And out of the bunch of X1.1 last shoes from Nike, this one does feel the most natural and to me the most comfortable from right out of the box. It does live up to the hype in terms of providing that sock-like fit, which is what fly knit is all about. As far as this ankle thing is concerned, honestly, when you have a pair of socks on, it's not very noticeable to me at least. You can see it moves pretty naturally with your foot. There's no real restrictiveness to it. And in terms of providing that false sensation of support or stability, honestly, I don't have that sensation with the shoe. You can feel a little bit when you bend your ankle, but for the most part, it's just a very slight amount of compression. And for the most part, it doesn't bother me at all in terms of feel or comfort, which is definitely a good thing. As far as having no tongue is concerned, again, it actually feels pretty natural. The laces do a good job of allowing you to get a nice snug fit. And for the most part, even without the laces, the shoe wraps your foot very, very nicely, given that you do have this elasticated area here right in the middle. So it forms to your foot nicely. It moves naturally with the bend of your foot. And again, there's really no break in time required from what I can tell so far. As far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US. And again, the fit and length to me feels very similar to that of the Hyper Venom Phantom. And then the fit is pretty much perfect in length. So for the most part, if you are looking for the best possible fit in the Magista Obra, I would definitely recommend going true to size. All right guys, this is for my first impressions of the Nike Magista Obra. I have to say I'm very optimistic of this design. The fly knit upper in combination with the Nike skin covering, the ACC, the texturing of the upper, the fit of it, I'm really, really impressed. It really does offer that sock-like level of comfort and at the same time still feels very stable and supportive in all the areas that a soccer shoe should be. The dynamic fit collar system honestly isn't as extreme feeling as I was expecting it to be. It's not restrictive. It allows for a nice free range of motion and is surprisingly comfortable. And as far as the sole plate and stud pattern is concerned, again, I'm really happy with the layout of the stud pattern. It feels nice. It's stiff in right areas. It's flexible in the right areas. And for the most part, it just feels nice and responsive. As far as the full written review is concerned, guys, I'm going to kind of make this one my priority right now. So I'm going to try and push out that review within the next two weeks along with uh, further videos about the overall performance as well as comparisons down the line. So again, if you have any questions regarding the Magista Obra or any suggestions for videos you'd like to see me do on this shoe, be sure to leave those down below in the comment section. Of course, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. And if you guys want to see the high quality images of this shoe, just to get a better idea as to how they actually do look in person, check out the review page on my website, linked down below in the description. On that same review page, you will also find buy it now links with the best prices online again allowing you to pre-order these at 222 as opposed to 275 so be sure to go ahead and check that out if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself other than that subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear you can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching